Hey guys, a bit more of a serious vlog today, something a little bit different. Basically, last year my mum got diagnosed with breast cancer and luckily they caught it early. So it was in the early stages. It's nothing life-threatening or anything like that. Right before Christmas she had an operation to have the lump removed. Um, so now she's just basically on the road to healing and recovery but unfortunately like the healing hasn't gone as well as people would have hoped like um she's had to have a few more screen, skin grafts because the heal the wound hasn't healed quite as well as people would have liked it to but nevertheless considering she only had the operation right before christmas she's doing really well she looks really good and now she's just have, having to have a few more chemo sessions just to obviously get the rest of the rubbish flushed out of her body. So hopefully within the next year, she hopefully should be back to full health, which is really, really good. So that being said, yesterday, we, me and Rebecca went to a charity event uh, for, um, for my, to raise money for my mum and for the charity Breast Cancer Awareness, obviously, and... At the event, my brother, which I'm going to introduce to you for the very first time, I'm going to reveal his face and everything, he did something amazing. So I'm going to put a picture of him here now. So for the past year, he's basically, as you can tell, grown out his hair, grown this scruffy beard, and he's basically, he looked like a homeless person, in my opinion. Hated the look, hated, hated his scruffy hair, hated his grown out beard, and I've been telling him for ages he needs to chop it off and get rid of it. So at this charity event, my brother did something so awesome, and he basically had his head shaved clean and his beard shaved off for the cause, and people could donate to him. So I donated to him, and well, I'll put in the footage from yesterday. So yeah, it was an absolute super, super fun event, really good and 
as you can see, my brother looked completely different, but a hell of a lot better once his hair was all chopped off. And it, it, that little lad, Rebecca was holding it, and that's my little nephew. That's the first time he's seen his dad looking like that. When he was, when he had it cut off, he kept looking at him like that, like as if to say, "Are you my dad? Are you really?" And like he was, before, he was pulling at his tie, kept getting hold of it and pulling it. And then, like when he picked him up, he was like staring at him as if he didn't recognise him. And he was like going like that on his face. And then today, I've just seen him around at his house, and he was picking up the razors. He was trying to pl- plug in a pair of razors and going like that on his head. He wanted to look be like his dad, but his mum is totally against him as having his long locks chopped off. So, yeah, after the event, I went on a last minute unplanned, super fun night out with my brother and four of his mates. It was a mad night out. We went to a casino in Blackpool, which is like a whole other world to me. I I don't gamble at all. I mean, I've, I don't even think I've ever played bingo let alone gambled i think i've bought a few lottery tickets from time to time but i've never i've never ever gambled so to go to a casino um was just absolutely bizarre to me i didn't get much footage because i've as you might be aware you're not allowed to film in casinos but i'll put in what little footage i did get here yeah just keep clear it's all right yeah you got there I think. Right, well, we're all chipping in when I get to home. <laughs> we'll just go back on train. What's the point, though? It's like... Get out. One more hit. Final bag. Thank you very much. You've been going like that again. Take it easy. Go on, go no more. Ready, Red. So yeah, absolutely amazing, fun, brilliant night. Like I said, a whole of the world to me. Um, I was sat at a roulette table and the guy knew I was new because I was like, asking questions. And I was just watching. I weren't really betting. I weren't really placing anything. I was just basically watching people and asking. So the guy knew I was a noob and knew I hadn't been there before. And... It was like there were these guys, there were these couple of guys who were like working about three different tables and every time they came up to our table, they must have been placing about £150 down a time. I mean, it was like we were just placing the odd £5 token. Like I, I, I placed £5 down and lost it and that was that for me. I was done after that. I had no luck whatsoever. A fair, one of the boys I were with, he did quite well throughout the night he won quite a bit of money actually and walked away with quite a bit of money but he was just playing like a five or a ten at a time and we were just playing small bets and these guys coming along putting massive massive amounts of money down and the guy actually on the roulette table said to me that's actually quite small bets for them you know what I mean I mean there must be whatever jobs they do they must be raking it in either that or they're some sort of millionaires but I just couldn't get over the amount of money they were just chucking down on these tables not my scene at all not really I'm not really like I say much of a gambler but nevertheless I really 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 had a good night with my brother after after the charity event I, we didn't get in till four o'clock in the morning we were there like all night we we, we arrived back home at four o'clock so after that, today, my brother, after doing what he did yesterday, he run his first charity event. His first, He ran his first marathon after only having about two hours sleep. And it, it, I, I can't believe... I was absolutely so disappointed with myself because I wanted to be there at 
the at the finishing line to watch him come through so I could film it and sort of obviously added on to what he did yesterday. Now, like I say, we got it this morning at four o'clock after going to the casino for night. Um, I went back to my dad's house with my brother. Um, we had, like I say, a couple of hours sleep. Then my brother dropped me off at his girlfriend's house to pick up Rebecca. I chilled with hers for a bit and then I walked from her house to my house, which takes about an hour. I woke my dad up and I says, um, Dad, what time are you going to this um, charity race? And he says, oh, I'm already there. And I'm like, oh, yeah. And he says, yeah, David's nearly at the finish line. I'm like what are you serious are you kidding me so i rung my mum up to find out where she was basically the clocks have gone forward today like early hours this morning they, go, they went forward so with that and the confusion of what time he was finishing the race my mum had totally forgot about the clocks going forward we went to the charity race and basically totally totally missed him absolutely by the time we got there he'd finished and he'd gone but I'll put in the what footage I caught whilst I was there and a little bit after. Oh, Johnson, the finish, number 51. Oh, Johnson on to Bolton. Super, super proud of my brother. He's just done his very, very first marathon. And he did a 13 mile marathon in about an hour and a half. His very first time, and he did super, super well. I'm so impressed with him. So, yeah, so I cannot get over how well my brother did. That was his very first marathon. I, me, myself, I couldn't do it. I'm not a runner. I've, I've been to the gym. I can run a little bit on the treadmill. But when it comes to running outside, I'm not much of a runner. But my brother's quite fit, quite athletically fit. He plays a lot of football, so he does does do a lot of running. But like I said, considering we did get in at four o'clock and lack of sleep, I, like, because we were betting yesterday, we like, were saying what rank, because I think there was about 500 people taking part in that race today, 500 people doing the run. And he's like, where do you think I'm going to place? And I said to him, I think you'll come in the top 100 you know, because you're not, obviously, you um, there's a lot of people who've done more of it, who actually do races all the time, and this was his very first race, but I said, the tiredness might affect you a little bit, but overall, you're quite f athletically fit, so I think you'll come in the top 100. Not quite sure yet what number he come at, I think he's going to be told at a later date, but, like I say, a 30 mile run and he completed it in about an hour and a half which is really really good for his first one so I'm really proud of him and did an amazing job and any everybody who took part in that race today well done big massive thanks thank uh, uh, big massive thumbs up to you lot for anybody who took part in it who completed it I take my hat off to you amazingly well done and then obviously anybody who came to the charity event yesterday amazing do um again not sure how much money they raised as of yet gonna find out at probably a later date but i recommend anybody to go and donate to breast cancer awareness if they know anybody who's been affected by it then please log on to breast cancer or breast cancer research or whatever and go donate whatever you can for anybody who's suffering i hope you recover and get the well treatment that you need so like i say a bit of a different mixture and serious more serious vlog today um thank you for watching hope you've enjoyed it please like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next vlog Bye.